finish the power of his punches. So That's right. Fighting. When you think about throwing six punches, you forget about power. Thinking about he's going to take over later on. Well, and right hand. Headley, tactical round one, in which Melger Taylor seems to have had a slight advantage until that body shot put him down. That Taylor was in complete control of this round, and in a sense, the round was a replica or a metaphor for his fight against Chavez. He had everything under control until the very end. And he got careless, threw a big left hand, and caught one back in return. And of all the things, a left hook from Philadelphia. Actually caught him on the point of the chin as he was leaning in. And now Brown tries to go to work. Come up now. Another left hook landed for Brown, and Taylor's in trouble again. I think more than anything, it was a slip that could really ignite Brown, though. And Melvin's trying to prove it. Right now, he's trying to show it was just a slip, but he's got Brown all excited, and then we getting... Taylor's corner is coming in the jab. He's not paying attention where they go. By Glenwood Brown, and this is going to be another knockout. I think to keep in mind here, as we watch this, that was not a clear, a clean knockdown. Obviously, it was a, he, it was a part of the box, especially when you're a puncher. Nobody believes this protective cup is not exposed so much this time. Good left to the body by Taylor. Later abandoned. Right hand in the corner, temporarily immobilizes Glenwood Brown, and now Brown comes back with a left hook again. Brown is starting to make that mistake now of trying to pay back. He may end up on the can his jab a bit more effective this round. Solid left by Taylor. Those two, three, four punches at a time must come back. Good left hook by Milton Taylor. Land. When you hear the thud, you think he's doing something. That was a good example. Body punch by Taylor, that really hurts Brown. Right hand now, that hurts Brown. Well, and right hand by Brown. Glenwood senses an opportunity to step up again. Eldrick not throwing. Glenwood with a chance for a left hook. Now Taylor flurries back, but leaves himself open. a lot of punches like that, your muscles get real tight. The mountain climbers seem to bounce around and just shake your fist to get loose again. Eldrick Taylor trying to answer Glenwood Brown's challenge. He's a bigger man coming out of this. Madison Square Garden. Brown with men hand down at this point. Good kind of punches by Taylor. Both fighters going to the body. Brown better mix whole, it up. He spent the whole fight going backward and countering him effectively. It's hard to turn around and come forward and brawl now. That's right. It's hard to change boats in the middle of the screen. Or at the end of the screen. Eldrick Taylor standing and fighting in the corner. Lou Duba and George Benton looking on nervously. Brown really respects Taylor at this point. I think it's mutual. Ten seconds to go. I'll tell you, you Rematch in Madison Square Garden, you can see another winner.